in prime. And that don't take the current tea cake. Yeah, hang on a minute, missus. Oi, you, missy, come here. You got carrots growing out of your ears or something? Why didn't you stop when the body's shutting and bawling at me? Go away. Go away? Why for should I go away? Why not just come? Because you're frightening the baby. Baby, what baby? That baby, baby. Oh, that's a ditty human baby, is it? <laughs> why for is you pushing him around in a fancy wheelbarrow? We are going to the baby show and you are breathing germs over our nice clean pram. And if it's of any conceivable interest to you, offspring in my charge happen to have won the silver cup. Three years running. Well, oh, that bit of skin and bone, it looks more like a peeled potato to me. My, my, my. You's an ugly one and no mistake. In fact, you're the ugliest itchy human I've ever seen. May I borrow your umbrella for a moment? Thank you. <laughs> and that, Miss Fiona, should teach us never to talk to strangers. <laughs> oh, slight like that is it, Mrs. All right, just for that, I'll win the silver cup myself and give it to me Aunt Sally to drink her tea out of. Oh. Oh, good afternoon, Mrs. Evans. So glad little Kevin's got over his mumps. He has got over his mumps, I hope. Oh, good. Ah, oh, Mrs. Braintree, here we go again, eh? Let's hope it's sick time I lucky. My goodness, what a bonny little girl. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> Evil child. Cross her up. What do you think he's up to now? I don't know. But we'll find out soon enough. Just count to a hundred. One, two, three, four. Oh, good afternoon, Nanny. You're becoming quite the old campaigner. Well, that appears to be the lot. Right. Hey, hey, hey. hey don't forget my baby, Mrs. Well, I don't think your name's on the list, Mr. Rowe. Uh, Gummy. Where's the lead row, Gummy? Oh, very well, then. Your baby's name? You ain't got one yet. Not christened, I suppose you mean. <laughs> oh, sounds as though it might be a little adenoidal. I don't know about no adenoidal, Mrs. Nor about no Christmas in. All I know is that I want my baby to win that there silver cup. Oh, very well, then. I'll just have a peek. Yeah. 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 <laughs> 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Right on schedule. What's he saying? To know he's speaking words of these. Well, this for your own, then. I'm speaking words of these. I'm speaking yakety. But you were... Now what's he saying? To know he's got a thermometer in his mouth. And it doesn't seem to be working. Well, a blooming article. What's the point in pushing one of them straws down my throat when there ain't no lemonade at the end of it to sop up at? It's not a straw, Wurzel. It's a thermometer. What's a thermometer when it's a dog? To take your temperature, of course. Well, I thought as much. What is his temperature, anyway? He hasn't got one. Look, it's at zero. Have another go. <sighs> He's eating it. Every bit. <laughs> yeah, I'm very nice, too. But not so nice as a cup of tea and a slice of cake, mine. That can kill you, Wurzel. No, it can't. He's made of straw. But look at him. He's still shivering. He'll probably get pneumonia. Scarecrows can't get pneumonia. <laughs> Poor Wurzel. What he really needs is a mother to get him out of his damp clothes and put him in a nice warm bed and bring him hot broth. Hot broth? Hey, that's more like it. <laughs> Where can I get one of them, their mothers, then? You don't get a mother, silly. They get you. Oh, how do you mean? You tell him, John. You see, Wurzel, to have a mother, you either have to be an animal or you have to be people. 
animal else people. Never a vegetable. That's right, not a mangle wurzel wurzel. Scarecrows don't have mothers. Well, don't they indeed? When mothers hands up birthday presents and cups of tea and slices of cake. <laughs> we'll see about that. <laughs> we'll see about that, all right? Come back, Wurzel. Your straw's still damp. <laughs> and it's not the slightest use snibbling, Wurzel. And it's uh... No, it isn't. Scarecrows don't have mothers, and that's all there is to it. <laughs> well, well, it's all the same to you, Your Eminence. I'm just going snibbling all the same. Oh, do pull yourself together, Wurzel. And blow your nose. No, 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 not on your sleeve. And not on your rotting red breast either. Use this. Use it. Really, Wurzel. <laughs> you need looking out. I sometimes wish you did have a mother. She might knock some sense into you and keep you out of mist. Wait a moment. Eh? Oh, oh. <laughs> It, it don't have to be a new one, Mr. Cromancer. A second-hand one would do. Silence. Yes, sir. Which head are you wearing at the moment, Wurzel? Fred, I don't know, Mr. Cromancer. Think. I can't think. I haven't got my thinking head on. Well, at least that eliminates one head. What's two and two? Nine. And that eliminates another. It seems to me, Wurzel, you're wearing your ordinary head. Feels ornery enough, Mr. Crowman, I'll grant it that. If you feels under your chin, that's where the spade dug you up. Now, Wurzel, your ordinary head began life at Buttercup Farm, about ten miles from Scatterbrook. Ten miles? Oh, my, 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 that's almost in America. Now, if you was wearing your reading head, you'd see from my entry in this ledger that you were seeded from one particular row of mangelwurzels. Uh, particular? <laughs> Get away, Mr. Cromancer. There ain't nothing particular about old wurzel. That's as maybe, but the point is it was from that particular row of mangelwurzels that I selected the mangelwurzel that was to become Sarah Pigswill. See, Sarah Pigswill of Buttercup Farm. Now, she became a scarecrow the year before you did. Sarah Pigswill? Well, what's she to a Wurzel? Well, don't you see, Wurzel? If you were seeded from the row from which I selected Sarah Pigswill, then technically... She's my mother. Only technically. Sarah Pigswill's my mother. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Pigswill's my mother, and she's coming to stay with her ever-loving son, Wurzel. Oh, Mr. Cromancer. Oh, Mr. Cromancer, I'm so excited. I can chuck me out in the air, and I don't care who's out sitting there. Hey! Buzzy McCoo! Ha! 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 Any sign of her yet? No, not yet, Wurzel. Well, keep on looking. We don't even know who we're looking for. My mother, you dark lummer. I know that, but how are we going to recognise her? How will you recognise her? Because she's the most loveliest scarecrow in the old wild world. That's how you recognise her. With a carrot for her nose and an air of golden straw, just like mine. And a big bag of humbugs, I shouldn't wonder, to keep me going till tea time. Wurzel! It's my mother. That's the way it'll be. No, I don't think it can be. Yeah, of course it is. Has she got a big bag of humbugs? <laughs> Excuse me. Is your name Sarah Pigsville? I beg your pardon? Oh, I'm sorry, Mrs. I didn't recognise you at first without your fancy wheelbarrow and all them funny clothes. But you recognise me now. Oh, I... Well, I'm waiting. Waiting. Oh. oh, thank you. <coughs> oh, did it hurt, Wurzel? Oh, of course it hurt, you daft head. Wurzel, Wurzel, where are you, Wurzel? Well, I'll be bummed, Wurzel. I got voices in me head now. I can swear I heard somebody yelling, Wurzel, Wurzel. Wurzel Gimme, where are you? Wurzel, Wurzel? It is somebody shouting Wurzel. Ah, of course it ain't. 
It's that farmer calling his cows home. Where's you? Where's your cabbage? I know who it is who's calling you. She must have come the back way through the field. It's your mother. Where's you? It is. It's my mother uh, calling a little boy home for his tea. <laughs> Ah, there you are, Wurzel. That's right, Mr. Crowmancer. Here I is, and there you is, and there's only one more missing. I won't keep you on tenterhooks. Sarah Pigswill, you can come out now. Sarah Pigswill, this is Wurzel Gummidge. Wurzel Gummidge, this is Sarah Pigswill. <laughs> my, my, my. My, my, my. My boy. Well, technically. My mother. In the manner of speaking. <laughs> here, here, Mummy. I, I brought you these lovely flowers. Oh, what well, you pulled all them out special for me? Oh, he spoils me, Mr. Crowman. Really does. It's no more than what she deserves, you know, and a minute. No more than what she deserves, because she's the finest mother this side of Foggy Bottom. Yeah. Was it a clunker in Adolf? Oh, that ain't a clunker, son. It's a rolling pin. I made your cake for your tea. Perhaps you would do us the eye honour of genius, Mr. Crowman, sir. Oh, I think not, Sarah. Three's a crowd, you know. <laughs> I'll leave you to your real. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Emily. Thank you very, 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 very much. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> We've nothing to do, Wurzel. We can stay for tea if you like. I'll tell you something you can do. You can up it. That's what you can do. You heard what you said. Up it! Go on. Up it! That's Wurzel's mother, all right. My, 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 mummy. Hey, hey, this is a spread and have no mistake. Real plates and real cups and anybody think it was my bestest birthday today instead of tomorrow. Because that's when it is, see, my bestest birthday tomorrow. You doesn't have to tell your own mother when your bestest birthday is, son. <laughs> yeah, will there be birthday presents as well, Mummy? We'll have to wait and see. Now, you just sit down, Wurz, and have your tea. I'll pour it out for you, and then I'll cut you a big slice of cake fit enough to bust your britches. Yeah, Mummy, wait a minute. There was a nest of harvest mouses living in that kettle. You haven't drowned them, have you? Of course I ain't, son. They're nesting in my stomach now. <laughs> now then, teaser. <laughs> you drink it while it's hot. Mm. Here, yeah, this ain't tea. Of course it is. It tastes more like ditch water. Well, of course it is. It's ditchwater tea. I made it special. Ain't you got no ornery tea, Mummy? Bless his little carrot nose. <laughs> the things he comes out with. <laughs> Where would I get ornery tea from, son? Ornery tea's for humans. But scarecrows has ditchwater tea. And you drink it up, or else you'll get no cake. What kind of cake is it, Mummy? Guess. Chocolate cake. Fruit cake, nut cake, plum cake, fancy cake, plain cake, cream cake, coffee cake, toffee cake, upside down cake, right side up cake. No. Well, I give up. What kind of cake is it? Mud cake. Mm. Ugh. Ain't you got no ordinary cake, mummy? Of course I ain't. You has ordinary cake with ordinary tea. With ditch water tea, you has mud cake. Now, give us a plate, Wurzel. Oh, there we are. That's real scarecrow's tea, that is. <laughs> now, you eat it up. Every last dollop. 
<laughs> I don't think I'm very hungry, Mummy. Not hungry. After I bake my fingers to the roots, where's all gummage? There are scarecrows in Africa. We'll be glad of that mud cake. You eat it up before I box your ears. Yes, Mummy. <laughs> Now then, Wurzel, has you been a good little boy and eaten up all your mud cake? I'm going to get you a nice slice of bread and butter. Uh, is it real bread and butter, Mummy? Certain is, Wurzel. Pinched only this morning from Buttercup Farm. Well, in that case, I'll have a slice or three. Please? Please. Mummy? <laughs> Mustn't forget our manners, must we? <laughs> now then, here we are. Ah, bread and butter coming up with homemade beetle jam. Could I have it without beetle jam on it, Mummy? I'm afraid it's all got homemade beetle jam on, son, already. Would you care for a little more dust? It's all the same to you, Mummy. I don't think I could manage any bread and butter with homemade beetle jam on it, nor dust. I think I did not. What you mean to say, son, is I have had sufficient. Thank you. Go on, say it. I've had sufficient. Thank you. Haven't you forgotten something, Rosa? I don't know, Mummy. What? Well, before you get up, you must say, please may I get down. Before I get up, I should say, please may I get down. <laughs> don't make sense. I don't. Whether it makes sense or not, Wurzel, you've got to say it. I ain't saying nothing what don't make sense. You say that Wurzel gummage or else. Else what? Or else you'll get your ears boxed. I don't care, I ain't saying it, so there. Right! Now, you do what Mummy says, you go outside and wash your tricks. Nine, seventy, seventy-nine. What's he supposed to be doing? The same thing which you do when Dad tells you to wash your hands. Plucking up courage. Oh, look, come on, Wurzel, that's just a cat lick. You've got to wash them properly. I'm washing them properly. I'm just testing to see whether the water's wet enough. Nine, seven, forty-eight, nine. Wurzel, bedtime. Come in, Mummy. I'm just going to be tucked up in bed with a big bag of hot humbugs. And I ain't sharing none of them with you three. So, nya, nya, nya. Uh, come in, Mummy. The green with rock. Now, where's that? Tomorrow's your bestest birthday. So I want you to have a good night's sleep so you can be up nice and early to open all your presents. Well, there'll be lots of presents, Mummy. Oh, more than you ever seen since you got born. Now I'm going to pop a number in your mouth and then I'm going to tell you a nice bedtime story and then you're going to go to sleepy bows. Open wide. There we are. Now, when it's funny time, there were three little turnips. A daddy turnip, a mummy turnip, and a baby turnip. And every morning they had fertiliser for breakfast. What are you looking at me like that for, Wurzel? This ain't none bug I've got in my gob. Of course it is. Have another. Well, them's not on bugs, them's pebbles. Of course they're pebbles. Where do you think I get the money from to buy real humbugs? These are scarecrow's humbugs, these is. Now, have another. Come in, I'll pop it in your mouth. Well, I haven't finished the one I've got in my gob yet, Mummy. Well, swallow it then. Go on, swallow it. There we are. No, oh, wait. There. <laughs> now, where was I? Oh, yeah. So one morning they come down to breakfast, these three turnips. 
on the daddy turnip said, my fertilizer's too hot. And the mummy turnip said, my fertilizer's too cold. And the baby turnip said, my fertilizer's just right. Happy bestest birthday to you. Happy bestest birthday to you. Happy bestest birthday, dear Woodland. Happy bestest birthday to you. <laughs> my, my, my. What a lot of presents. <laughs> I ain't seen so many presents in my whole life, Mummy. Come on, open one. Hey, which one shall I open first? That this one. This one there. Yeah. Yeah. Let's have a look. <laughs> let, let the wrap in. Mmm. That in. Oh, hope it's a box of chocolates. I ain't never had a box of chocolates all to myself. <laughs> Let's have a look. In. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> my, my, my. No boot. That's right. <laughs> Thank you very much, Mummy. It's just what I wanted. Mm, I knew you'd like it, Wurzel. We mustn't play with it just now, because I've got to find another one. What matches it? <laughs> That's your bestest birthday present now. You open it, and then I'll give you a birthday breakfast. I bet it's birthday breakfast, mm. eh? Yeah. Yeah, I bet I know what it is and all. I can smell it from here. Come on, open it. Open it? Yeah. All right, then. <laughs> here we are. Let's have a look. See what the... the... <laughs> oh, look at that. The big lump of coal. If it's not the right size, I can always take it back and change it. Uh, no, no, Mummy, thank you very much. It's, it's just right. Uh, well, I go and get your breakfast then. <laughs> Happy Mrs. Birthday, Wurzel. I knew it. I, I knew I could smell fried egg and fried bacon and tomatoes and, and fried mushrooms and a sausage and, and hot buttered toast. Hey, hey, that's the breakfast fit with the crow man himself, that is. Thank you very much, Titchy. I told you'd like it, John. He even said thank you. Now eat it while it's hot. You don't want that rubbish. I made him a proper breakfast. Yeah, but that is a proper breakfast. Well, that's an even proper one. Well, what is it? Sawdust porridge. Sawdust porridge? Mm. Yeah. You chucks away my eggs and bacon and that, and you gives me sawdust porridge. Oh, you like it? It's lovely sawdust porridge. Oh, it's lovely, is it? Yeah. I'll tell you what, then. What? You have it instead. <laughs> Wurzel, that was a very naughty thing to do. And you know what happens to naughty boys, don't you? No, what? They get ten seconds start. Run for it, Wurzel. Oh, get your Wurzel, you Wurzel, you Wurzel, Come back in. Come on, Mummy. Wurzel, get back in. Wurzel, Wurzel, Wurzel. Stop now, Mr. Crowman, sir. I'm in the middle of an hour. Wurzel! Get her up. Go on, sir. Mr. Harris, the crow man here, sir. Just to let you know that I've mended your scarecrow and it'll be back in your field this afternoon. And thank you for your patience. Good afternoon. <laughs> 